is a letter. Dear reader, if you're reading this, you probably have survived, and maybe I'm still alive somewhere. Although I hope I'm long gone, I have no idea. But here it is. After all the bombings, time stopped. Nobody cares about what time it is, what year it is. I remember when time was essential part of our lives, at least mine. Time to work, time to rest, time to eat, time to be. Now it is time to wake up, time to hide, time to steal, or in some cases, time to kill. All of my time now is about changing bandages, helping the wounded ones. My profession may have saved my life, but I lost everything else in return. When the war started, I was far away from the action, but soon enough, the horror spread like a cancer on the surface of our planet. Nuclear bomb here, nuclear bomb there, thousands and thousands of kills. It all started during the civil war in Syria. People were running somewhere where they thought it would, they would be safe. However, nowhere, no one was safe anymore. My family lived in Poland. Oh, sorry, you probably know it as Area E E seventeen twenty three. And I was studying medicine in the Netherlands, Area Code V E fifty fifty one. When the war spread to Europe, one day communication got completely cut off, without any further information. At the hospital, we were instructed not to talk about it with our patients, to avoid upsetting them, and to avoid massive panic. As I lear later learned um, that day, and half of Europe was nuked. We all knew we had to get out of there. My best friend Wesley convinced me that we had nothing, that I had nothing left in Poland, and that I should leave now with him. We knew it was coming to us soon, and we had to run. We chose Asia. It was big and rich with resources back then. We did not have much money, but because we were almost doctors, we got spots in some sort of experiment called Underwater City. That's what it is, probably. As we later learned, it was neither a city nor new civilization. It was underwater tombs for those who were still alive. Others were. Others started liking and abusing the sudden power, and inmates like me felt trapped. I was safe because I was the only doctor in our cold bubble. Doctors were valued, sometimes even treated nicely. The once thought civilization brought people to their basic instinct to survive, no matter the consequences or actions they had to take. Even we were running out of when. When we were running out of supplies, the real war for me began. It was not the fancy gunshot from far away. It was about strangling your enemy with your bare hands for some grains. I wished I was dead many times, but yesterday I really wanted it. We ran into other crew from a bubble like ours. A few weeks from now, or a few months ago, I can't tell. My commander would always order me to stay at the bubble and protect it. Also, that way, I stay safe myself. But I really needed to see this land and the sun in order to stay sane. The other crew came from nowhere and put down three of us and took me as hostage or a slave or whatever I am now. This bubble looks exactly the same like my old one. However, everything and nothing at the same time is different. I'm not free, but I also have nowhere to escape. I think I hear something. Definitely.
the Third World War had its delay on innovation, just like the crisis had in 2008. But now that singularity is there, it's there for everyone. Living in an underwater bubble is hard, but not for this little creature. The technological singularity allows it to modify the body as it pleases. So, when we were all looking at the stars and beyond for alien life form, we were looking the wrong way all the time. It was right here. The alienated wishes of mankind fulfilled. Become who you are. Even though that might scare some people. My name is Silvano Simon. I am a voice computer. I never lie. Or did I? Thank you for watching, listening and feelings. Yeah.